So what we do now, now you can use your finger here, but I prefer you didn't do that. It's better to use a colour shaper. Now I'll stop halfway and you can see a little bit more punch to it now. You've got to rub those colours in because you haven't got any base colours, any softening colours underneath there. You, you need to just put a little bit more pressure on it. Okay. Kind of shape up. And the reason for that is because I, I want to control what I'm doing now. You'll see what I mean when I continue it. See that? The kind of shaper is fantastic with this. You wouldn't be able to control this with your finger. Large areas you can, of course you can, but not these areas. Now there you are, look at that, isn't that? Isn't that delightful? And what we do here, we just put a little bit of blue. I don't want too much of this, just a little bit, very, very light. And then you can use, can you use your finger, or you can use a colour shaper. Now I'm going to use a colour shaper here because it's a bit easier, folks. You see that? Well, we do, haven't made it quite solid, and I don't want to. You see, this is the high, whole idea of this is to is to make it look as though there's something there. Do you see what I mean? You can kind of imagine, can't you, that there's something on the other side, some detail or other. They are distant, so you're not going to see them. Okay, now, you know I said I'd be putting the pink in. Well, I wasn't quite telling the truth. We'll put pink in the white, because what I'm going to do now is use my colour shaver. You can use your finger here as well, but I'm going to use a colour shaver because it's easier to control okay now if you look at this area i've just done above you'll see that it's very very close to being the same color not quite because i've got some other colors in there but this is close now you see now i can put some of the pink on the white with the color shape i mean look what going around that little eye that i've just done imagine trying to get the finger around there so you can use a color uh, paper blender on this as well, but the color shaper would be the preferred one. It's all looking very nice indeed. And the other thing you can do here is you can very, very lightly just touch in. Now, when I originally conceived these starter packs, we didn't do this. We just left a bit, but, but it does actually give you just a little bit of extra effect that I think is rather nice. You've got to be careful though, because otherwise you'll, you'll ruin it. So it's very, very light touch with a blender.